Okay, so let's begin the next phase of this project. Um, let's take let's take our building size here, and uh, we're going to install some gutters. We don't know which side the gutters are on, but <clears throat> uh, the gable is. We don't know how these gables are completed, but you can actually make gutters that go all the way around the perimeter if you wanted to. Well, we just want to do a typical downspout section with the water collection uh, component to it. So we don't even need the dimensions from this building, which it's possible that we could actually retrofit them for retrofit this building with it. Yeah, it looks like that building's about 25 foot or so across, almost 26 foot across. So uh, we'll just start a new drawing. Um, right here, when you hit new, you can add templates. Uh, we'll pick pick an ANSI B. That looks fine to me. Uh, so we'll open the ANSI B up. Let me zoom extents. That's this little magnifier with the arrows pointing both directions. And we'll pick a point inside the thing here. Now let's go ahead and try to design a gutter system. What I'm going to do is I found some PDFs from the internet from a gutter supply company and uh, let's see what I found. Here's a K style gutter style uh, sizes. So right here it'll tell us nominal dimensions of a typical gutter size. You've got a different a different span across the top. You've got five, six, seven, and eight and the dimensions according to that vary so let's just pick a size here we're going to actually implement this picture into the CAD drawing and to do that all I got to do is go back into my AutoCAD and put insert raster image and uh, I'll find that Plan set again. Ooh, won't let me do it. Okay, I know what to do. We'll save this as a JPEG first. Let's save that as a image, a JPEG, and we'll save it right in there. And that should create a JPEG. There we go. Now we should be able to find it here. Yes, we did. And now this this little screen, <coughs> it's going to ask you to specify the scale and a rotation and all that so we're just gonna hit okay we don't we're not really too concerned about it but we got to pick a insertion point so it's asking me to just drop it somewhere and this is where you can scale to you can make it as big as you want we'll just make it that big doesn't really matter so there we are there let's go into model space you'll see it show up better <coughs> in model space so now we're gonna duplicate this <coughs> and that'll be the next portion of this video. <clears throat> 